Thank you very much. Thank you for having us here. So first, we want to commend your your leadership in terms of um, sport and um, local sports we have, um, which is, um, I think, is one thing that actually, you know, um, really, you know, gets to us as, as a team that, you know, we've been waiting for this opportunity for someone that sees, you know, down to the grassroots, the people that are there, that are less privileged. I can actually relate with us, you know, with, I will just probably sum summarize what Team Nigeria UK is all about. It's a grassroots project for um, Nigerians that are born in diaspora and also for those that are back home. So we, we, all, we all came together as, um, as Nigerians here in the UK because we've been seeing um, 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 some caps in terms of inclusion in sports and also we've seen our young people you know, going into some you know, negative vices, things and whereby they're not actually well engaged and we wanted to use sports as a tool to do that. So, but when, when we started this in 2014, uh, we, we approached the Nigerian High Commission there. Then um, it was led by the um, past ambassador, Ambassador Tafida. So we, yeah, we explained to him, and he, he loved the idea of what we're actually trying to do, and then, and then he endorsed it at his office. I can remember then we, he, was, he said, okay, anything we need in terms of what we want to do in terms of support, in terms of uh, you know running to businesses there that are, that are owned by Nigerians, we should always call on the High Commission. So and that was how we started, and it's been growing, growing. That made most young people in in this country and those outside the um, um, United Kingdom that are based in America and in Europe relate with what we're actually trying to do. So we felt it's time for us to take this back home and to actually help those that are back home to engage them through sports. So, and then we approached the Nigerian Football Federation because we started with football as one of the sports that we feel Nigerians, Nigerians loves a lot. We went down to the grassroots. So we thought, well, let's start from football. Then we can then gradually go into other sports because what we're actually doing here is, is just based on searching talents, nurturing them, developing them, linking them to actually curb the loss of our talents to other countries. Is there any other contribution before I can say anything? Any other contribution you want to say something? Sorry. Um, I would say I think what we're just trying to do is unite Nigerians, young Nigerians across the world um, because when you say Nigerian it doesn't matter whether you're in Nigeria it doesn't matter if you're here in this bar, it doesn't matter wherever you are. There's this negativity and just, we need to start from the young um, in order to positify that future. This is going to be our future leaders later on. So I think this is a wonderful opportunity for us to start to try and do something about it ourselves. Start by thanking you for finding the opportunity to visit me. Then to also commend the, the zeal and determination uh, which you insistently seek to secure at least any brief moment tonight for you to share with me your vision and ideas about the country. Inspiring talent, developing talent, investing it, mentoring it to growth. So I think where the vision of Team Nigeria is on the same page with uh, our policy direction. Is we are interested in bottom to top approach of sports administration and development. Where every investment, whether private or public, should be tailored towards widening the bottom platform. Identify inspiring 
encouraging, training, supporting, and mentoring sporting talents for the benefit of developing the Nigerian sports architecture. Now, the Nigerian sports architecture, in our own view, should be pyramidal, very broad base, with a narrow top. A broad base to be able to accommodate a multicultural, multi ethnic, multi religious society should be also wide enough to accommodate all our peculiarities. It must be so broad so that no talent is left outside the scope of the base. It must also be developed with a very dynamic structure so that it keeps expanding and responding to other social factors of national development. This is our policy trust. This is our belief, this is our conviction. Currently, under the change leadership. We are also aware that uh, resistance is a common tradition against any reform. We should not lose sight of the fact that a prominent African revolutionary, Thomas Sankara, would be the same argued that there can be no true reforms without some form of madness. So, in trying to restructure a particular system, of course, some form of abnormality must be employed to try to dismantle non-functional aspect of that structure. We are also committed to doing that. And so, the resistance to Nigeria and UK is facing it's not limited to the UK or anywhere in the world. But it's global. More notorious even in the Nigerian sports sector. We are some interests have been so established, similar to the drug war tradition. Uh, a theorism. Such interests consider anything coming outside their domain of their control as a threat. Whether it is in the general interest of the majority of the citizens, it can pursue of its very myopic and parochial concentration resistance. So you must not be discouraged by any form of resistance because until you are able to conquer resistance, you will have not started. In the beginning of the journey is the defeat of resistance. This should be one of the cardinal challenges you have to deal with and the full life of So I think what you are doing is part of the great vision we are pursuing. Because the determination with which you are pursuing this course without even minding financial implication or looking at immediate interest which any of you can drive. Rather there is a focus 
on a very distant ambition of making the country great. I think that is where we share common ground. So, bring to you the goodwill of the president of the country, President Mahmoud Maribu, and uh, consistently remain a father figure with outrageous passion for humanity and the love of the country. A new Vashik, this is a and this are, that's one of the Nigerian business that supports us from day one. It's called Tasty Africa. And then we have we have users. Uh, this this is your number, Jesse Lovers. <laughs> so because we saw you playing football. <laughs> it's a, Make sure you hashtag Lagos Showdown 2016 and keep supporting Team Nigeria UK. Team Nigeria UK, we are going back this year to play against the Nigerian national team. Um, this time around is in Lagos, so we will encourage you to keep supporting us, sponsor us. We need your support. Without your support, we can do this. So keep supporting Team Nigeria UK. <laughs> Okay, yo, this is Adi Barbecue from my AK, Mr. Beast Mode. And I'm here with Team Nigeria. Check it out, they're doing big things. Hashtag this, Lagos Showdown 2016. You get me? Beast Mode. Boy Dele, Akin R&B singer from the UK. Make sure you hashtag Lagos Showdown 2016 and keep supporting Team Nigeria UK. Boy Dele, signing up.